Today I will show you how you can create this really cool magic trail effect in Photoshop and you can use it for whatever you want to spice your images even more. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymar and welcome to another really fun Photoshop tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this really cool and interesting magic trail effect in Photoshop and the idea to create this tutorial is actually coming from you guys. Several of you guys asked me to show you how to create this effect that actually Max Asabin is using it. So this is not my idea, it's actually recreating the technique that Max is came up with a few years ago. And because his channel is on Russian, a lot of you guys asked me if I can do this in English. So here it is, but the credit goes to Max Asabin. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Okay guys, we are here in Photoshop and today I will use this photo to create this cool magic trail effect that is coming out of the book, but you can use any photo that you like to add the same effect. You can use something like this or something like this. It's the same example. So to create this kind of effect, first, what I like to do for this specific example is to create an empty layer and just sketch where the trail will go. Just quick sketch. It, it will be easier later. So I will do something like this. Something like that. Something like this. And probably the last one will go somewhere out or something like this. So this will be approximately where the trails will go. Maybe this one will go out. So this is just for a sketch. It will be fun. Right now I will lower the opacity of this and actually first I will hide it. And now I will explain you the principles behind creating this really cool magic trail effect in Photoshop. But before we do that, I just want to say that this episode is sponsored by Skillshare. So thank you Skillshare for that. Skillshare is a really cool place if you want to gain some new skills or expand your current skills. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on photo editing, video editing, uh, video effects like After Effects, even 3D or something completely different like maybe cooking, etc. With so much to explore, real projects to create and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. They're offering classes designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can learn and grow with short classes that fits your busy routine. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, they're giving you guys two months completely free premium account there. So that means that you will gain access to all the content on the website. All you need to do is to follow the link down there in the description, sign up for your two months free and enjoy gaining some new skills or improving current skills. And also Skillshare is pretty affordable. The annual plan is less than $10 per month. So if you like the Skillshare after two, three months expired, you can continue with the subscription. If you don't like it, you can just cancel it. No questions asked. All right, guys, now let's go back in Photoshop and let's start making this awesome magic trail effect. Okay, now that we created this quick sketch where the magic trails will go, now we need to create additional layers in order to be able to paint this magic effect. So first I would like to rename this to sketch. Okay, and now I will create new layer. There are two ways. We can create new layer and fill it with a black. So this is one version. And another version is just to create a new solid color layer and fill it with the black, whatever you want. So let's go with the solid color layer. And now we will create one layer, just empty layer where we will paint the effect. So this will be paint layer. And uh, if now we paint on this, we will just have this kind of ordinary effect. This is not what we want. And now we will create gradient map at the top of everything. So gradient map will actually define our colors. So it depends what kind of effect you want to achieve, you will make different type of gradient maps. And here we need to click on this gradient and change some settings. I first like to set this black to white because I want to have my shadows black and my highlights white and everything in between is something that we need to create. Because I want to make a fire kind of effect, I will choose the fire color. So here I will click on the middle and just choose some kind of a red color, okay? Then I will click somewhere here and choose a little bit more orangey color like this. 
and then I will click right there and choose some kind of a yellow color even brighter so probably something like like that and we have white color and we can always move this left and right to see uh, what kind of effect we want to achieve so if I press ok and put this layer into screen blending mode I will see what this gradient map will look like on a photo but we will not paint on this photo it will not affect this photo it will only affect the paint layer and uh, how to do that well let's group everything all three layers control or command G and put let's put this back to normal and put the whole group into screen blending mode and now because the group is in screen blending mode this gradient map will only affect the layers that are inside that group and now if we paint on this layer let's choose a brush and let's go with a hard round brush and 100% opacity if I paint something it will be white color if I lower the opacity a little bit it will be more yellowish color if I lower it even more it will be more orange tone and if I lower it even more it will be a red tone and why is this behaving like this why the colors are changing by changing the opacity well because of that gradient this is really important because the gradient actually dictates the colors here depend on opacity if the opacity is low we will have colors of the left side of the gradient if the opacity is high we will have the colors on the right side of the gradients and I will not go more in depth explaining this this is what you need to know so to be able to create this cool effect let's just delete everything I will use a tablet because it's much easier to paint with a tablet and I will use a pen with a pressure sensitivity it will make my whole process much easier but of course you can use the mouse if you don't using a tablet you can achieve the same result but a little bit more with a little bit more struggle I will show you that uh, later how you can achieve with the mouse the basic thing here is just to paint by changing the opacity and I will go and choose this hard round pressure opacity brush or just hard brush and press F5 and go with the transfer let's just check the transfer here and that's it what it means it means that if you are pressing lightly with a brush you will have less opacity if you're pressing harder and harder and harder you will have more opaque brush until it's completely white so by pressing with the pen on the tablet you're controlling basically the color so that's the point that's really cool if you have a mouse you can do a little bit differently you need let's just delete this you need to change the opacity from time to time you know you need to change opacity always and you can go to the brush properties and instead of pressure you can go to fade and increase the fade here so you can have this kind of effect as you can see and play with with this and the opacity and just do like this this is something that we want to achieve also we want to change the hardness of the brush and this is the effect that we are searching for so you can always play with the opacity and have it on fade and changing this so a little bit more struggle but it's doable of course you can do it with the mouse so I will go back to pressure sensitivity and what I like to do is just to delete everything and start painting so we will create where is our sketch it's here I will lower the opacity even more so I will create something like 100% opacity brush this is okay I will change the hardness from time to time you will see and I will paint yeah we need to paint on the paint layer okay so I will make something like this and now everything is matter of playing with the settings as you can see right here you just need to do something like this also you can choose smoothing if you want to make some really nice smooth lines if you don't want that if you want to make fast lines you can change the smoothing to zero if you're using a newer version of Photoshop so this is how it looks and this is what we want to achieve and also we want to erase from time to time we want to erase things so I just want to raise a little bit you can change the opacity I'm changing the opacity with the pressure sensitivity of the pen but if you're using mouse you want to lower the opacity when erasing because you don't want to erase everything but this is how it looks you can erase then go back to pen and again just paint and change the brush size and also 
you can change the hardness of the brush. Let's go with a really soft brush and add cool effects here and there. And now I will fast forward this. I will do exactly the same for all three trails right here. And then I will come back and explain what we will do next. But the procedure is exactly the same. Just if you're using a mouse, just change the opacity, change the flow and just the, the fade on the brush settings and just make these kind of things. Just paint over the top of these lines and create this really cool effect. And when you're done, we will go to the next step. So let's fast forward it. Also, you can create as many layers as you want inside this group to paint new effects on the separate layer. So I will create new layer for every single path right here. Right guys, so this is it. I could tweak it even more. Maybe I will tweak it here and there while I doing a few other things here. But now I like it how it is. And now I will do a few more things. I will go to the group, create a layer right here and erase this effect from certain parts of the image. So I will go with a little bit harder brush. I will just erase it even more and then I will paint, paint back. I don't want this to go in the hair, so. I want to have impression that is actually going around the head somewhere there and actually it's something like this and also like it's see it's just going around the neck maybe I can go and this is the paint layer number one I can tweak it by control or command T and go to warp and just move it even more like this maybe Maybe something like that, press OK, and then tweak mask even more. So as you can see, it's really hard to see where is the end of the hair, but it's something like this. It's going here around the hair. Let's go with this brush. And I think this is pretty cool. Okay, so this is that part and then we need this part of the leg. I don't want this to be visible on the front side of the legs, like it's going more below the legs and it's coming out here. So let's see, something like that. Yeah, it's looking nice. It's giving some nice three dimensionality for, for these uh, trails. Okay, now we can finish with this. This is basically what's the point of this tutorial, how to create this really cool magic trail effect. But I will continue even further to tweak this image even more using exactly the same settings. I will go right here and create another layer and I will make some particles here. I will go with a brush, choose this hard round brush and maybe lower the hardness a little bit. Then I will go to F5 or brush properties right here and go to brush tip shape, increase the spacing all the way to 1000%, go to shape dynamics, shape, size jitter all the way to 100% and then go to scattering all the way to 1000%. And now what I will do, I will just go and paint some particles here, as you can see. And this is pretty cool. Also, I can go and uh, because I have a pen with pressure sensitivity, I can go with the transfer and I can just paint some red and white and yellow particles by changing the pressure of the brush. As you can see, there's a little bit more spice to the image. But of course, guys, if you invest more time, you can create 
much better result and have even more fun with with everything but this is pretty pretty nice pretty okay and now what I can do I can close this group and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl or Command J on a keyboard and now I will get rid of this layer mask delete layer mask go inside the group and delete all the layers here because I want to use exactly the same settings to paint some highlights on the girl of course this is just an optional if you want to make complete photo manipulation then you need to paint some highlights and uh, because these magic trails will actually illuminate the parts of the girl I will fast forward this but before I do that I just want to show you what I want to do so I will go with a little bit softer brush something like this 50% hardness transfer and I want to basically just paint some highlights here like this okay and then I will go with the eraser really soft eraser and just erase it and I want to leave it only here where actually this magic trail is passing and I will do for for the whole photo this is one way how you can do it another way is just to create a regular layer and put it in a screen blending mode or linear dodge blending mode and so on and so forth and uh, just paint with the colors but I want to take the opportunity to use exactly the same settings here and to paint uh, the highlights on the girl so let's fast forward it Okay, now we'll create a new layer outside of everything, right there, and put it in a color dodge blending mode and paint with like darker red color on the face to add more redness to, to the model. And that's basically it. As you can see right here, this is before actually let's let's go before any kind of highlights and this is after just to spice the image a little bit better and of course if i invested even more time than this it would be even better this is just for the sake of this tutorial to show you guys what are the possibilities using this kind of effects and that's basically it also guys if you go to the gradient and change the colors of the gradient let me show you. if you go with this into more like a blue tone and uh, actually this is the gradient on the f of these parts but never mind we'll change both things so something like this i'll press ok and go back to this gradient in the group and change instead of the red let's go more into the blue tone we have something crazy then we need to change everything into more like bluish tone like this okay and this one really bright blue instead of the yellow so we can have completely different effect as you can see we have these blue lines and the point here is you can set any kind of gradient and change completely the effect the look of the effect overall so the gradient is almost the most important thing here if i undo this is what we did and undo one more time and this is it right guys so that's it for today i really hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new cool fun and interesting out of this one in case you have any kind of questions regarding to this episode please leave me the comment down there in the comment section below i will be glad to answer it also guys if you like this content if you appreciate this episode just press the like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already and also ring the bell to get notified about all the future episodes also if you want to use this image you can find the link down there in the description to download it and also for all my patreon supporters you will get this psd file and you can find it on patreon you already know the drill right guys have fun experiment and see you in my next fun episode bye bye